Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we're going to be focusing on assigning beta angles or member rotation in STAD Pro Connect Edition. Now before we begin learning how to assign a custom beta angle to the different members in your STAD Pro model, let's first go ahead and discuss the member local coordinate system. Now the member local coordinate system exists as soon as members are added to a model, and STAD Pro has a convention for establishing the default orientation of the member local coordinate system. And this default orientation is called your beta equals zero, or a zero rotation condition. Now, different types of sections in your STAD Pro model might consider their local reference point to be a little bit different depending upon the type of section. So it is important to kind of understand this default local coordinate system to be able to effectively modify it as needed. Let's now turn our attention to our sample model. Now every member in this model has already been assigned a section property. So at this point we can go ahead and visualize the default orientation of each member and we can do this a couple of different ways. The first way I'm going to show you is how to take a look at the 3D rendering of the structure. So in your ribbon toolbar you can now select your view tab followed by your 3D rendering icon. Now we can make this a little bit larger and we can see what our kind of default orientation for each member is. As we can see, for example, for our beams and girders, your webs of your members are vertical. We can take a look at our angles and it looks like the corner of the angle is basically pointing up for this particular model. So we can take a look at the default orientation of each member by taking a look at a three-dimensional view. We can also superimpose the orientation directly on the members in our main view window. So up in our view tab in our ribbon toolbar, we're now going to select our label settings icon and we'll go ahead and turn on our beam orientation, which is available in your beam section. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now we can see our default orientation and you can see your local axis is indicated in blue. It's always going to be along the length of your member. Your local Y axis, which is typically your minor axis, is in red. And your local Z axis is indicated in green. Now as you're reviewing the orientation for each of your members in your model, you will want to assign a custom beta angle if this orientation is not how you are intending to build it in the field. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at our angle sections. And I'm going to kind of zoom in on this particular area so we can get a closer look. Now before we can assign a different beta angle to our angles in our model, we first need to select them. So I'm going to click, click somewhere in my main window to make sure nothing else is currently selected. I will come up to my select tab in my ribbon toolbar and I'm going to click on the group command. Here I'm going to go ahead and select my horizontal braces and then I'll go ahead and close that dialog. Now I'm ready to assign a beta angle. So I'm going to go to my specification tab in my ribbon toolbar find my beam option, and then I'm going to select my beta angle. Now here I have a couple different options. I can specify an angle in degrees, and this is most appropriate for um, particular members such as wide flange members or tubes or rectangular sections where you know very explicitly what the angle of the member is going to be. We're going to go ahead and assign some beta angles to some steel angles in our model. Now steel angle sections have geometric and principal axes. And STAD Pro coordinates the principal axes of a steel angle section with the local axis of the member. Now in this particular model, basically what that means is that the angle portion or the bend of our angle is, is currently pointing up. It's not really coordinated with a, one of our principal axis directions. And to make connections a little bit easier, it might be better to point one of the horizontal legs basically horizontal or in plane with the XZ plane uh, in our particular model. So we have an angle and an R angle um, option which will basically apply those types of rotations to angles. So I'm going to go ahead and select the angle option 
and we'll go ahead and assign it to the selection and we'll click OK. And now we can see that those angles have been kind of rotated. Now if I want to see that in the properties dialog, I can click on my beta angle option and you can see that it went ahead and added the custom beta angle for me. Now let's go ahead and close out of this view and we can return to a three-dimensional view if you'd like to see that effect. So I'm going to go to my view tab and click on my 3D rendering icon. And here I can see that my angles have been have been rotated. Now if I'd like to turn off the rotations on my screen, I can go back to my label settings area and turn off my beam orientation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.